Hello and welcome. Let's talk about SOC. So, what does it mean by SOC? SOC is defined as a systemic hypoperfusion or hypotension due to either reduced cardiac output or due to reduced effective circulating blood volume. According to Bailey and Love, SOC is a systemic state of low tissue perfusion which is inadequate for normal cellular respiration. Types of SOC it may be hypovolemic shock, cardiogenic shock, obstetric shock, distributive shock, or endocrine shock. Classification of shock according to severity. It may be compensated shock, decompensated shock, mild shock, moderate shock, and severe shock. Now, pathophysiology of shock. The cellular pathophysiology and microvascular pathology uh, is uh, given here. You can learn from here. System you also are given here. Now clinical features of shock. In all these stages, there is tachycardia, sweating, coat clammy skin, hypotension, restlessness, air hunger, tachypnea, oliguria, mental confusion, and collapsed wind. In later stage, there is cyanosis, anuria, and jaundice. Consequences of shock. The shock may turn into unsuccessful shock or multiple organ failure, where uh, there may be acute respiratory distress syndrome, acute renal insufficiency, acute liver insufficiency, coagulopathy, cardiovascular failure, decreased vein perfusion leading to drowsiness, lactic acidosis, sickle cell syndrome, and sympathetic overactivity. Now, monitoring of a patient during shock. The minimum or essential monitoring includes pulse and blood pressure, urine output, pulse oximetry, and electrocardiogram. And additional modalities include central venous pressure, invasive blood pressure, cardiac output, base deficit and serum lactate. End of the topic.